Hello everybody, welcome back. I had a really fun time recording my last video where I kind of was explaining my hobby and how I love this one combo that I found. Um, well, I actually saw it online and I just recreated it. But hey, it's still fun to just try and use. I, of course, don't actually like to use infinite combos when I'm playing for fun with people. I just use them when people want to see them because it's kind of fun to see them. But let's go over a new combo I have today. This is the Thassa's Oracle combo. So I'm gonna pull this card out and let's read it together. When Thassa's, if hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, when Thassa's Oracle, Enters the battlefield, look at the top X cards of your library where X is your devotion to blue. Put up to one of them on top of your library and the rest onto the bottom of the library in any random order. Now, if X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. So, right now, if you look at my library, there's a number right here that says two. I have two cards in my library. It mainly because this is not a full deck. But if I and like put Thassa's Oracle onto the battlefield with devotion of two, it makes it so I can look at the top two cards of my library and put one of them on the top of my deck and the rest in on the bottom in any random order. So I just put them back in my library. But what does that do? Well, X is greater than and or is equal to the number of cards in my library. So I just won the game just like that. Now, how do I get to this state where, you know, my devotion to blue is two and my library is two? Well, you have to draw down your cards a bunch. How do you draw down your cards, you might ask? Well, there's a few cards that help with that. Well, first, let's just pull up this card right here. Demonic Consultation. Name a card. Any card. Maybe you just name a card that's not even in your deck. You know it's not in your deck. Like, I don't know. This deck has no basic planes. So there's no basic planes in my deck. So I just say name basic planes. Remove the top six cards of your library. I remove them from the game and reveal the next card to or uh, yeah, reveal the next card to all players. If it is the named card, put it into your hand. If not, which it's not going to be, remove that card from the game and continue revealing the top card of your library and removing it from the game until the name card appears, a.k.a. you draw out your entire deck. This resolves. Then you go and have th play Thassa's, or or Th Thassa's Oracle. And your devotion to blue is two, and your library has zero. So, guess what? You win the game because uh, it's two is greater than zero. So you win the game. Yeah. So that's fun. So Demon Consultation wins you the game. What's some other stuff we can we can do? You got uh, Doomsday. This is a three cost. Pay half your life. Round it up. Put your graveyard on top of your library. Then remove the remove all but five cards in your library from the game. Put the rest. On the bottom of your library in any random order. So you have five cards left in your library with this card. So you need a devotion of five to be able to win the game with Thassa's Oracle. So that's a fun one. So you got those two. Um, Demonic uh, Consultation and Doomsday. Let's go over another one. We got Peregrine Shift. Remove all cards from your li or in your library from the game. And shuffle your graveyard into your library. So hopefully your graveyard doesn't have that many cards in it. And if it doesn't have that many cards in it, or maybe there's two cards in it, you win the game with Thassa's Oracle. Now, another one we have here is Leveler. When Leveler comes into play, remove the, your library from the game. Simple. Easy, right? <laughs> All right, so that's another one. All right, what else do we got here? We got Tainted Pact. I don't think this one actually wins, the, or this one's a little bit harder. Remove the top card of your library from the game. You may put that, ca that card into your hand unless it's the same, it has the same name as another card removed this way. Repeat this process until you put a card in your hand or you remove two cards with the same name, whichever comes first. So this kind of like draws down. It's a little bit harder to track, but yeah, you remove the top card of your library. Um, you may put that card into your hand unless it has the same name, which, you know, you basically put it into your hand because we're playing this with Commander most of the time, whereas I, I normally play Commander. And I repeat this process until you put a card into your hand or you remove two cards with the same name, whichever comes first. So like this can put cards into your hand. I don't know. This, this doesn't work as much as well. I don't understand this card that well. I just know that it was something that somebody mentioned to me that might work. I have no idea how that, how that works. This, this is Hermit Druid. So this is another one. Um, tap or green tap. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a basic land card. This is one way to really mill out your cards, especially if your deck does not have that many basic lands because you're doing a lot of utility lands or something like that. And that can get you through and you play Thassa's Oracle after you know you have like basically no cards left and you win the game. Um, so that's a slow move way. You have enter, enter the infinite. This costs a ton. <laughs> if you have 12 mana to spend, you probably are hitting some kind of infinite mana combo. I don't know. 
Um, draw cards equal to the number of cards in your library. Then put a card from your hand on top of the library. You have no maximum hand size until the end of the turn. Basically, draw your deck and you play Thassa's Oracle, you win the game. All right, so what's some other stuff? We got Laboratory Maniac. So this one actually doesn't work with Thassa's Oracle exactly. This is if you did any of the other previous stuff and then you trigger a draw. Maybe you have like an instant where it's just draw one card, draw two cards or something like that. So you place that and you win with Laboratory Maniac. This is actually a very common one. A lot of people use this guy in a lot of decks. But yeah, that's a little preview of something I, I learned today. The, the fun combo you can try with like, I don't know, your friends if you want to like impress them, maybe with a proxy of this or something like that. Have fun with it. If you guys enjoy these kind of videos, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.